Hey, I, as usual, I'm gonna start it. Because I already started um, because Sean is always trying to round up wherever. There's my vein. It's up there because I did, I did some manly things. You did do some manly things. Hopefully it's all, whatever. What's up? I have a cough drop in my mouth. I have a cold, but I don't. TV off and then I'm coming to it's, join you. It's a, um, it's not COVID. You know, when you have 8,000 COVID tests, you're like, um, you take it. And then just to be careful, what happened before COVID tests? You just wouldn't know, right? Hold on. Let me turn this down so I can see everybody. What's up, purple people leaders? There we go. Okay. You gotta do, um... I did it all. Yeah. I did it all. What's up, homies? Wait, Sean was fixing the fireplace. He was putting that, um, the cock, we even have a cock gun. That's how, that's how sophisticated we are. But we broke it, but we made it work. <laughs> Did we break it right off the bat? You know, like the fireplace hearth in the, in the sides and it cracks when it gets old and you have to put the mortar in there. It's kind of like that. Sean, that is making, that I'm dying at the hat. Why? You like it? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so anyways, I need to turn the heat down too, but this is probably kind of anticlimactic after every body at the screen the other night. But so this is how we would rather have it. We don't want to Most bore you guys. Time. Yeah. What you need, do you get your drink? I have it, but I'm gonna turn the heat down. I was cold and okay. turned it up. And then we, we probably dropped it on the carpet, but it came up. Yeah. So, I feel like I did something today. I even took a picture of you doing it, Sean. You did? For proof. Is it going to be on Twitter? So, I was in the corner. You know, I'm, I'm like the most unhandy man you ever know. But you get the caulking and you get the caulk gun and you put it in the corners of the fireplace and you're supposed to wait. I, I thought, I mean, it's pretty cold here. 25 degrees or so. I thought we'd caulk it. And in a night or two, we'd be able to have a fire, but apparently you have to wait like... Is it really 25 degrees? Something like that. Oh, Lord. I heard it was negative 11 in New England or whatever. That's crazy. His um, his family was saying, yay, we always get this at the same time. What is it? My That are... Oh, it's... It, yeah. Whenever I request a review for um, our live, because it always defaults to to limited um and i didn't know this forever that you could request a review and so i started doing it and most of the time it's approved so the um the last live we did two nights ago is monetized yeah. for all audiences yeah except who where did you say there was a lot of people that watched us in india something like that mm -hmm. like so you guys that have a YouTube studio. Hey, Michaela. And you can um, kind of see where your audience is from, you know, England, United States, blah, 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 blah. We have a, a pretty good following in India. And there's like 0% that are like, what, the 12 to 14 age? Yeah. So we are that boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mama Ricky, we are hey, Mama that Ricky. boring. I saw the um your new picture um, with you and the bows. And it's it's a good pick. His name is so they got a new family member, Scooby, a Doberman Pinscher. How adorable! Nice. How old? I bet he's adorable. That's very cool. We were talking about today. Remember when we were still living in the apartment and we because this is what we do. We had um, like did the twenty four hour try for um, this. Uh, she was a Doberman mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She Doberman. promptly positioned herself by me and when Sean would even try to go near her, yeah. she'd be like, and then we're like, oh no. And it, it was, um, once she got used to the apartment, like yeah. she'd, she'd sit in the corner of the bathroom and then when, you know, when she finally decided that she was comfortable, you know, she came out and decided that she was gonna protect Mandy and that I wasn't gonna be able and to that, near Mandy. That, that, he, that didn't work too well. And Sawyer was still itty bitty. And every time that she would look at Sawyer and sit there and she'd start drooling. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. She truly wanted to. 
But what was about that place is for like a puppy, like eight weeks to nine months or whatever, it's $150. If you, if it doesn't work like that, they take her back. You don't get your money back, but that was fine. I was like, oh shoot. Uh, I was like, sorry, it buffered. Probably. That's probably why you went Hey khaki. Oh, put on the, um. I did, babe. On that one too. Do the cellular data. I did, I did. Now it's catching up. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, it's good to see you, Kaki. Um, let's see. He claims to have, he claims, okay, he's, hold on. You so don't, you don't one. have yours on. I have to put these on. Okay, um, I'll put mine on. No, no, it's okay. He sticks close to me and Hubs. Um, Dobermans will, will um, pick one person and they will like, decide that that's their person so just um i think kensington or whatever the one pirate has i think it likes i, I guarantee you but outside the family oh you know, probably it, it's, it's yes. gonna so we went and saw um i'm not going to give any spoilers just watch the trailer i i think i posted the trailer we watched uh knock at the cabin yeah i'm not even watch the trailer i'm not going to even because i don't even i don't even know what would be a spoiler at this point but it's by m not Shyamalan. watch it it's one of those movies where you kind of creep yourself out in the middle of it. Um, it. And it takes you a second when you walk out of the movie to kind of reorient your brain. You know what I mean? To yes. like, anyway, watch it. Highly recommend it. It is good. And we had, What was the one that he did that was real famous back in the day? That There's everyone, been a few. The Village. Split, right? Did he do Split? split? Um, the Seventh Sign. I think. That I think, was like his first one. Was that the one with hey, Mel Gibson Colin. in it? I think so, yeah. Um, you know something that I noticed yesterday, and Sean and I were talking about this. You Okay, so all of a sudden, we're looking at, yeah, well, it's kind of, yes, Mama Ricky, you're on, your, you're on the right track, and I think the trailer shows that. So um, <laughs> they will put, like, we were, I was looking, and it had like a, it said that hey, there Colleen. was this, this clip that said the final moments of Bruce Willis, and then there was another one that says Bruce Willis has passed. Now, y'all don't, don't start... And then it, there was another, and I'm like, Sean, did you know Bruce Willis died two months ago? And he was like, no. And I was like, and I hadn't clicked on any of them yet. And then he was like, then he looked at me because no, he's got a disease, bait titles mm -hmm. of stuff like that. It was a it was like a YouTube, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, like and guess that it falls within not clickbait. So it's like they they have them about everybody, everybody. I I looked at Wikipedia and made sure. You know what I'm talking about? That you got like anybody. I was like, we. I thought we had, and I was like, what was going on? What was going on two months ago that we had no idea? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, a lot. but it's not true. So don't run, go tell it. It is not not true. Um. But we did do that and had Mexican food, and then today we went and we hung out with the in-laws. It was funny because we got there and someone else was visiting. And his mom was talking or whatever. And I was like, you're not supposed to talk. And it was almost <laughs> like she got reprimanded by, by like, because yeah. she goes, oh. And I was like, no, no, you can. Well, I, I just. My mother had a procedure that she's not supposed to talk for a week. Yeah, we had told him. Yeah. Like, and... But she has, she's so awesome, like for real. And I'm not just saying that because she, people, she's got so many flowers that people have brought. And so many mm. people have brought them food. Hey, hey Karen. Karen. So many, like, it's, it's like amazing and so his mom is like such a lady that she's not gonna just not speak no. when people come no. to see her or whatever so. i was wondering how that was gonna go when we went and it was like so we were gonna get a whiteboard really remember we were hey, gonna we need get to borrow a whiteboard from someone someone hey, have a white, someone out there have a whiteboard that they can lend us <laughs> i hear there's a few put on an app onto an ipad where you can i'm not even kidding but but then when she, then after that she just like tried not to talk and I was like I'm not getting <laughs> on you. I, oh my god! I was just surprised is all. Um. About the other night. <laughs> They're like, "What did we miss? Did y'all get wasted and go live?" No. That was funny because um, a couple nights ago, our live. Um, thank you for DC Media Girl for for coming on in, and we wanted to give her a platform. It was a it was a thing that. Um, when Mandy had said, when I came in from work and said, hey, this is what we're gonna do, and it, it's not. I asked if it was okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and asked me this, but you kind of were like, first I was kind of like. 
Well, we kind of do this on this channel. And this is just me and I'm thinking out loud. I didn't really say this to Mandy. But um, so we kind of do this and we kind of like this. But I said, you know, it, to all that, you know, there's some a few naysayers out there that said, oh, they're this, they're that, they're boring. We are. We like it this way. But I wanted to just kind of show to, not to y'all, because y'all are here to see us, but to everybody out there that takes little snipes at us here and there, that if we wanted to jump into the drama, if we wanted to do panels and do stream yards and get other, you know, people on panels, we could do it. If, you know, and, and get a few hundred people to come in and do um, a panel and, and this and that. We could do it if we wanted to do it. Um, so there it was. That, that was my part. It was Mandy and, and DC have a, a, a bit of a friendship. So they, Mandy wanted to give her a platform to tell her side. But for me, in my maniacal mind, I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. So that was kind of kind of my ulterior motive for, yeah. for doing it. I guess it never occurred to me to do it on my channel alone. It was all, it, it was kind of a, what do you think? <laughs> it says, um, let's see, get all your shots first. What is, what did I miss? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. It looks good. Um, so yeah, I would go see that. I would love if enough people went and saw it that we would do a stream where it's like spoiler alert. Don't watch this if you haven't seen it. But for the people that have, we could have a discussion about it because it's so took so many turns that yeah. So anyway, yeah. One of I um I. Went, we sat down and we, we started watching it. And at first I was like, uh, I mean, this is not a spoiler or anything, but the, the, one of the main actors is Dave Batista. Uh, you know, he was of WWE fame and he was in like guardian of the galaxies. Y'all knew Dave Batista oh. is. He was a, he plays a, a, a major role in it and he was good. Yeah. It was very, was very good. good. He's a gentle giant kind of, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, they're getting there. They're getting started. But yep. this is the other thing you guys, and I don't know when the last time you've been to a movie is, but it was opening night for this movie yesterday. We went at the 8.30 showing, and there mm -hmm. was, I kid you not, eight people in the theater. Well, that was it. But the parking lot was kind of full. But they had but five or people. six other movies going on at the same time. So It was very, I, I you know, they're struggling. They're struggling. You think? Yeah, because now they're starting to release movies and then immediately, like, start them on um, other, like, like, the, the, the uh, TV, you can. Um, mm, I see. What you you're see saying. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, sorry, <laughs> Jackie, you're funny. Um, David, I knew for some reason I thought that um, that Mama Ricky was. Yeah, she was like, uh, he, oh, yeah. He, what I didn't know, he is the same Batista that if you watched wrestling WWE like 15 years ago, he was the wrestler Batista. Is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, actually won the heavyweight championship. He won some Royal Rumbles, all that stuff. I'm not really into wrestling, but I kind of looked it up. And he was the tag team champion with Ric Flair was his partner. Oh, for I a didn't while. know that. So, yeah. So there's that. And we had we went to dinner first, and it was good. But, you know, everything's gotten more expensive, and it seems like the quality has gone down. I don't know if you've been to Panera lately, and it may just be ours. But yesterday for lunch, I stopped by there because I was out. It was $18 for this sandwich and a drink. And I kid you not, it was cold, stale, and there was barely anything in the sandwich. And and I like that's kind of I, I don't know about where you are, but the places around where we are, that's kind of the standard now. It it, it is there, expensive. Even Sonic, like, you know, Sonic burgers are amazing. It comes out the brightest stale. It's not great. It's, it's and it's expensive. 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 So in that, yes, uh, Mama Ricky, when you get a chance, um, just Google them. Uh, and because I wasn't sure, it seemed like a bunch of newcomers in the movie, but I Googled it because he seemed like how do I? I know I I knew I had seen him around. He's kind of like um, when you see uh, what's the dude, the uh, Hispanic dude that. Uh, has kind of been around forever. Uh, Danny Trejo. He kind of reminds me, like, you always yes. see him in other movies and stuff like that, and you've seen him around for 
a long time for a lot of years and you just really don't know what you've seen them in. So I Googled them and I was like, it was wrestling. It was WWE. That's right. I'm talking about when I was in my 30s. Mm -hmm. He was, because um, he's my age, he's 54. So when he was in his, you know, 25, 20, 25 years ago, he was a big time WWE wrestler and a champion. He's so pretty good actor. It, yeah, he was good. He, he was a pretty good actor. Um, but yeah, I'm curious about like the places around where you live. Like, because I said ever, get, and, and it could be that with the people that are door dashing and Uber Eats, they're getting the hot, fresh stuff and that's what they're focusing on. I, it could uh, be. I, you know, I door dash. I make no, I don't hide the fact that I door dashed while I was waiting for my security stuff. Um, Jocelyn, Jocelyn's in here still. Jocelyn's so funny. When I talked to her and, and she was like, I don't understand what the hubbub is about. Is it buffering right now? It may, it may not be. It's, it's probably catching back up. And during the monsoon the other day when it was raining, we had perfect internet. Now the rain has cleared and the internet. Okay. I hear you now, Khaki. Khaki was out. Oh, Lord, get all your shots first if you get into DC. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, no, we don't have to get It's funny, but it's not. Yeah, but no, oh, no, it, no it, she it, doesn't mean, she means the, the creator DC, not the drama community. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, she said the DC. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's A lot of people get way, confused but... with DC Media Girl and the drama community. Um, but yeah, that's why we wanted to do that to just kind of say, hey, look, this is we're good with what we do. And, you know, if we want to do the drama and we want to do get people on panel and, and, and get into the drama, we can and we can get back into it. Um, but door dashing, door dashing. Um, people, if you door dash tip, people think that, you know, like I just bought an, an eight dollar sandwich to be door dashed. So I don't have to put a big tip on it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you just won't get your food. I promise you, if you put a $10 tip on something, in addition to what you're paying, you'll get your food. We've you're, literally had it come yeah. within like... We live way out in the boondocks and, and you know, Mandy was like, well, It'll we're going to door dash, it's going to take forever. I said, just, you know, and I tip like $15, $16 because they're already going to get about 15 for the run. Yeah, you got to be ready to pay. So if they're going to make $30 coming out, they're going to come get it. Um, it's just, it's their time. If you, you could have a hundred dollar order of food and you're taking it <laughs> across the street to an apartment complex, the tip is whatever the tip is, because you know, you're going to pick up the order and be over there. You're going to be done in 10 minutes. You're on to the next thing. The whole idea for me was I was shooting for like a 25 to $30 hour. And because with gas and all that, and if I could come out with about $22 an hour, He's um, not gonna entertain us tonight. anyway, that's, that's the door dasher. So that, you're right. That might be why. Yeah. If, if you want it hot and fresh, like, and it's a splurge, I mean, I don't know what, what, you know, people's different situation is, but if, if like, like it's a splurge on a Friday night mm -hmm. and you want it, you're starving, you want it fat. That's, that's like mm -hmm. the secret, but. Colleen um, says I'm near Knoxville. Fast food's more expensive, but good stuff. When I we bet. lived in, when we lived in Texas, when we lived in Cedar park, um, and we got home or whatever, or I was home, we're rarely apart, but you know, if we ever were, you could come home, you could grab your app, order a couple cheeseburgers or whatever, and then and then jump in the shower. By the time you were out of the shower, they were probably dropping your food off because we were right in the little suburb. Here, it's you know you get it's we're about ten miles from anything, something, something like, like nine that. or ten miles. Yeah, so. something like that. Um, so, anyways, like Jocelyn was talking about, she goes, "You guys, I love your content." She was like, "But it's just y'all. I mean, I don't know why anybody cares what y'all do. Y'all are boring." Mm -hmm. And I like you talk about your chickens, and you got to hear her accent, yeah. accent when she says it because she's El Salvadorian and she's in New England. So she, um, so for a second, we're gonna talk about our chickens. So y'all know that this is what we've been doing up until now for neighbors and stuff like that. It's just like, look, do you hear them? They're like hatching. No, but anyway, so I know, so it's like that, okay? But look, we're gonna, we're gonna up our game. And we got these colored ones. I know Jocelyn, but I was, <laughs> <laughs> these colored ones. And I really just wanted the green ones cause it matched our thing, but you couldn't do just the green ones. Is that, that's pink in there? All different, yeah. And then of course we still have these like whatever but then we also have these date label things now but 
It worked pretty well that uh, when we went over, we brought two little half dozens over there, and then my mother had her friends over, so they got some of the They were excited. She said they were it's out thing, at the store. Yo. She said it's they were thing. completely out. It's a thing. It was funny. Yeah, they were yep. completely out at the store. And, they're, so. and I think here they're like seven bucks a dozen or something, something like that. that. I'm like, so, so we're going to lock up the chickens and lock up our wives. And, I know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so this it was funny because this morning I was finally, you know, we collect them for a few days and then I get them into cartons and we either take them to neighbors or do whatever. Um, some of them, like Karen had told me, like the silky eggs are smaller. Um, I crack them into a sandwich bag and put them in the freezer for cooking. I took two in each one. And apparently, like, if you're making a, you thaw it out if you're making a cake or something, and it works for that. They're too, I don't, I'm too creeped out to eat the small ones, like, scrambled eggs, because they're so small, it creeps me out. Um, but you can. Um, eat them. They're just smaller version. So if you normally have a two-egg omelet, just make it a four-egg omelet with silky eggs. You just double the ration, and it's fine. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The Silkies think they're the mamas of it. They are a um, same sex female hens, mm -hmm. both of them. And mm -hmm. they have taken on those, the babies, remember, that are not really babies anymore. They're in a very anymore. healthy relationship. And they, and they, they are, have they are decided the that hens. they're theirs and the babies think that they're theirs. And it's all fine and good. And they come out together and they're raising those babies. And even though the babies are bigger than they are... <laughs> They do. The they first, think they're today their was babies. was the first day I saw the, the babies go into the woods. They're yeah, they're starting the woods, to. But, um, anyway. And Sean, tell me your th tell them your theory on why they're not so broody anymore. I think that. Remember they growled and hissed. And <laughs> yeah, you remember that they were like Cujo chickens. <laughs> I think no, when scary. we introduced the baby chicks to the, I think they knew. They were laying on it. So right. I think they knew. There's something that chickens knew that there was baby chicks in here. And they would congregate by the door. And so the silkies were like, every time there was an egg being laid, they would let, they'd sit on it. And they had a little clutch of eggs. And I gave them like four that I didn't take out that I let them lay on. In, on. Once we took the baby chickens and put them in there with the, you know, in the cage with everybody, the, the silkies, I think they thought that the eggs hatched. And that those were the babies. They stopped laying. You they, think? Yeah, they stopped sitting on the eggs that were in there. And they started raising the chickens, the little babies. And now that the book baby chickens are out in the yard and, and kind of, you know, feeling safe, moving out from, you know, the confines of the chicken coop, the silkies are now moving out with them. And so now they're all back to normal. It's a normal barnyard. There's no chickens yelling and hissing and you know, trying to protect eggs anymore. So they think that they've hatched them yeah. and they're, they don't care that they're both females. That does not matter to them. <laughs> the ones they were sitting on weren't fertilized. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting where, mm -hmm. and this is what I think about the white one that keeps popping out at night. I think it's a rooster and he's learning how to keep watch. You think the white one's a yeah, rooster? Yeah. And he's learning how to keep watch. I hope not. But listen, but right now he's confused about like, when he hears something, he comes out to the thing and, and looks because he's learning how to be a rooster. So one of the little babies is white with like a peach V across its back, like a peach color. And I um, think it's a rooster. They might get along. Tiny's not aggressive. Well, that's that. Not that's like that. Karen's. And it would, it would, there would be a rooster for each group. Exactly. Exactly. So. This is fascinating stuff, Brenda. I don't know why you're not excited about it. What did Brenda, Brenda she say? Was boring. She just did the puking face. But God this is exciting dumb. content. So where did Brenda come from? Did she come from? I know someone who has a troll name. I'm not going to say out loud. Brenda there is could their be, troll name. We really had the um, the drama community up. The, Kaki was very clear. She was like, I'm not going to have anything to do with that. And, and that's cool. But um, what was like the top? Three worst. I don't. I don't look at him. I really don't. I will look at them if if he's like, hey, they're talking to you, and I'll. But as far as when people put whatever they put, I don't see it. He takes care of it. Um, but tell me what the top three nastiest comments. I didn't. Are. I didn't see him. You really didn't see any. In I that didn't video? watch him. Um, I think that there were a lot of people that there were no scathing comments. There were a lot of people that didn't. Um, there was a lot of people that, that were like, for instance, who there's a couple of people that came in. You know, we, you saw Al come in. She was. No, but I mean, afterwards, the comments. Afterwards. Oh, you mean the comments on the thing? Yeah. What were the last? There, 
I mean, there's a lot of them, and a lot of them are uh, kind of they're discussing, you know, the fact that that you know the validity of what her story was. Yeah, but but so there was no, no one. No, there was no one that came the in there that just 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 said you guys, you know, suck or anything like that. No, there wasn't anything like that. He's they used were, to that. They were. They um, were. So I think what we got stuff. down to with after everything happened and DC Media lost her channel, and then a couple people went live and gave their opinions of it, and then we gave Clara her her platform to tell her story was. No, it wasn't a porno that was being shown. It wasn't a porno. It was literally the Rob Zombie movie, and then there was a very blurry scene in the background. And you said a lot of people that had said, no, it was porn, came back and said, no, no I take that we back. Get it it back. wasn't. It wasn't appropriate. It wasn't appropriate to be back there, and it may or may not. We will see. It, it probably, if it, if it is, in fact, what it was back there, it will um, be a, some sort of violation in terms of services, but they're saying you know people like Chantel can lose a channel and get it back for some of the stuff they did, um, and you know YouTube if it's a big it's content dollar. creator, if it's a big content creator, um, they tend to give them more chances. I heard. I mean, I heard Keemstar. Um, he he's openly ban evading. He's lost his channel before, but because he generates so much money, right. and his legal team um, was it? It uh, yeah. You're the 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 scene itself. If I remember from the movie correctly, that's what was going on. Right. Um. <laughs> so no, but, it's still. But it was still um, a mass flagging. It was still was a bunch of people that that went and flagged it. So I think a lot of the comments. What I'm getting at is the comments were about that. And um, they weren't, I mean, they would, they, you know, it, it just wasn't, they weren't directed directly at us. I think the worst comments were that Mandy is not a very good interviewer. That's what it was. Because, I know, and I'm not, like, I, but the I point wasn't is, is trying that, but to that, be. But that is the, the epitome. Oh, okay, Karen. Karen has the, the 411. DC announced on Rumble they are not coming back to YouTube. Because mm. the cute stoner boy one is gone, too. The, so... I lost my train of thought now. So the, the point is, is that the, the, the worst comments were like, they couldn't say anything about the numbers or, or the way that the stream went. So they went after your ability to interview. Like it wasn't a pop-up stream that six hours before we did it, we knew we were going to do it. Like it was planned for days or whatever. It wasn't. And so she's literally made a career out of being a journalist. I, I did not. But I yeah. think it's funny because I'm like, the first thing I said when we went live is I'm not an interviewer. And mm -hmm. then I saw a couple of people say, quit talking over, and I did. Yeah. Well, well I but, did. I didn't but, realize there was a delay. The, the point is, is there was nothing wrong with it. The, the normal minions that little trolls um, or people that don't like us that are always tweeting about us, they had nothing to say about the content. They had nothing to say about, they couldn't. Okay. Because khaki, because there was four hundred some people in in, the, in there for a lot of the time, and it was a and there was a lot of stuff going on in the chat, and that's what a live stream is. That's what a, a live chat is. Is what we did. And um, Jocelyn's new to modding for us, and we tried. Karen knows because she's been with a couple. She us and mm. before it was someone else. I tried to warn for like how many trolls were going to yeah. come in and not to worry about it, but just do your thing and it's going to be busy. But we knew how many would come in. And then there was some of y'all, like when I, when I looked at the chat a little bit, there were people like, hey, Mandy, hey, Sean. And hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What, you know, what's going on? You know, yeah. the, the people did, didn't know, but. Um, it was fun. That's know. what I'm saying. But Jocelyn's like, I hope I did a good job. And she goes, I just wasn't. I was like, I know. Y'all did a good That's job. That's this community. If you, yes. if you, if someone even gets a couple hours warning, mm -hmm. they get their, they're, they're creating names, they're passing out assignments. I mean, they, it was a, it was a good old fashioned drama community stream. Um, the aftermath was, I don't think there were any. Hey, Justine. There wasn't any, but the platforms um, that are associated with this, with the, the DC, they all talked about it the next day. All of them did. And um, that's kind of what you want to have happen if you are wanting to go that route. You want to get someone on there. You want to you get some numbers. You want to get everybody talking about it for a while. And um, 
That's what we did. And you made Sean feel relevant. I felt right. That and I am going, this, this thing is the you thing. Can do. But here's the other thing too. Mandy, um, in order for us to do this, Mandy mm -hmm. had to go in and update the StreamYard, pay the StreamYard fee. So now, y'all, now, Sean and Mandy can have StreamYard um, can panels. Can I just say that we've probably been paying for it for a year and we didn't really? even know Really? Is that what one of those fees were that we didn't know? I, yeah, we've been paying for it for about a year and had no idea. Do you guys ever have it where you... Thank you, Karen. You're looking at and you know that, like, so your editing programs and stuff that come out every month... Yeah, my You fuckery. lose track of it. We call it the fuckery programs. That, so that was probably one that we were paying for then, you're saying, because it was paid for? Yeah, it, I had to, I had to click update to the terms of service or whatever, but I didn't have to put any, it was already, I, we already had a plan selected and everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, um. But we can do that. Exactly. Don't say that Sean loves attention. It's going to be 20 minutes of content <laughs> for someone. He, let me uh, tell you something. Don't make I him don't feel, really don't that. make him feel relevant. I That's mean, the worst thing you can do. Well, here, here's the thing too, is like, um, Jocelyn, I got you. <laughs> we, we really, um, don't listen to certain people that are talking about us and you guys um keep mandy filled in with hey, what's tragic. being said and, see, buddy. you know what's going on a hey, tragic whether she wants to see it or not you guys let her know but one thing that did happen was um i think mandy was talking about eight seconds <laughs> yes mandy was talking to one of y'all on the phone and i guess sam was in the background and it was like, oh my God, we didn't know that she gets that. I was like, that is an angry elf. And and I'm just here to tell you guys what what is starting to happen. And I, because we don't listen to her, um, because we don't want to get um, feeling like crazy about that stuff. She's she's out of her mind over there, or at least she was yesterday. And people are noticing. People are noticing they're she was going. On a, she was on a tangent saying we were racist at the time. And she was like, we've addressed it. Yeah, it was. Jocelyn said, I was like, oh, yeah. And Jocelyn did. She turned mm. it down. She, it like, it crossed, like, it came up, like, anyway. And she matter. was screaming. And she was apparently. like, we've addressed this multiple times. She's losing it's her racist. mind. racist. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So, really. Oh, and I'm, then I heard Meanwhile, say, I'm sitting over going. <laughs> and then I heard her say, tell Alex Glitter that you said that or whatever. And I'm like. Okay. Okay. Alex. Alex, this is what we said. She didn't um, care. <laughs> and I don't know why she would care, but she didn't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, so. Don't say it. Don't go into it. I'm not going to go deep into it, but I I don't think that we really, because I I can say if, you know, I'm I'm, I'm lying to y'all, you know, whatever, but I'm not. We don't <laughs> listen to her audio and we don't listen to what's going on. And so, but that happened to be on in the background and it was good lord she's a mad at us i didn't know she was so angry yeah but but i knew we, she, yeah, yeah i knew but she talked know, about us but in what we do know is people are noticing that they're like oh my god you know that this these two um move her so far off of her game and um hey, it, it's, and that's all we can do is just stay keep doing what we're doing and not listen to it and people are are eventually, it's going to be to the point where it's going to be um, really, really in the forefront. Yeah. So I mean, that's so that's that's what we'll do. We'll continue to ignore it and unless we're on the phone with one of y'all and she's in the background. Blah, 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 blah. Can I just say, <laughs> Jocelyn? Says, I wish I had that kind of energy to do a workout. Jocelyn almost was going to take a link and say what's up. Um, the uh, on her stream or whatever. Um, which I mean, but I think that she was like, I was like, you can, you are free to do whatever you want. I was like, I don't think it's going to make a difference though. But I, Jocelyn is a firecracker. Let me tell you what she is. She's, and she's funny to talk to. She's a little like yeah. just about any, it doesn't even have to be out YouTube. And she said, I'm a good person. So all of you people that think I mean, I'm she a, said that Mandy was a good person. I, uh, I'm a shit bag. I'm. <laughs> they, well, that you said that's a common theme people say when Mandy's done with you, she's done with you. Like, and, and I guess I mean, to here's an the thing my little take on we were talking about that um, as Mandy was cutting my hair and then I was in the bath. So, we, obviously, we share a bathroom, so we're doing whatever. You know, Mandy is um, an addict and an alcoholic. And um, she. I'm a double winner. Yes, she's um, all that. Um, some 
say she's a whore, you know, but anyway. That um, makes me feel good. <laughs> but the, the thing is that she does have is a very addictive personality. Um, so what that means is, is if she sees interest in something um, and she's investing her time, she's investing herself. And that, that turns into friendship. Some of you guys know that some, some really good friendship. And um, she's got, that's what she does. She loves hard. Um, one of the many things I adore about her. Now, when she goes through something with somebody that um, bothers her, you've seen some of the stuff that, that might seem like minor things with friendships breaking up and, and it, it, it bothers Mandy, and, but she's able to some, somehow hit the, hit the ground with it and then she rises up from it, she's done, done. Yeah. And that's with maybe, it's, that's not just with people, it's with things in her life that she gets addicted to or immerses herself in. She gives her 100%, 110% to what she's doing, her job, her family, her marriage. Um, when something happens you know, in her life, whether it's something she's eating or a situation, a job or whatever, and it becomes bad for her, toxic, she will unplug, for, unplug from it and then done. Yeah. Um, and that's how she is. And, um, so yeah, she's, she is. And I know, and I accept that I definitely have some faults like that, that I need to work on some character defects that I do work on that I work on, um, within myself or whatever. Um, thank you, Jocelyn. Yeah. It, that made me feel good. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, Right. Stitching's like, I start my own battles. I won't fight your battles. And I, this is a common thing that, that, um, we don't expect anyone to choose sides. Right. Um, like, and I, I know that was said earlier on someone's community post that they want to remind everybody that they don't need to choose sides, but literally no. we have people that won't come into our chat because they yeah. don't want to be seen by this person Right. because yeah. they, they don't want to be. And so, so that creator, <clears throat> Al, um, you are guilty of that because yeah. there, it has happened. There's people that are like, I'm I mean, sorry, I can't be, right. I, I yep. can't be seen in your, in mm -hmm. your thing. She, I can't, I can't handle the, 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 and, and so you might want to work on that because well, you're think, not being forthright with that statement. Well, I think when someone goes to their community or to Twitter and has to, first of all, tell everybody about some beef that she has that really none of us really knew what was going on outside of the people that might have been in the chat. Nobody cares about that. That's your business with the other person. But you kind of put it on blast like it's bigger than it is and say, I don't expect people to choose sides. And yeah. so we didn't know, but it's like tee hee hee. So she's in a little bit of a tiff with another YouTuber with, um, what's her name? Moonbear. We didn't know anything about it. We didn't care. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so now there's a bunch of other people going, What's wrong? What's what the going hell on? does this mean? So, I mean, that's what, it's not that, but here's the thing. If you, if, if this is for anybody, I, I say this with myself. If you are to the point where you don't want to be seen in someone's chat because you're afraid of what someone else might say or think about it, you might want to just step all the way back off of it because it's, it's really more important to you than it should be. Yeah. This is just, you know, what it is. And I've been guilty of it. I used to be super sensitive if I even saw someone mm -hmm. comment. Jocelyn, <laughs> Jocelyn knows. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, that's something that I work on. Um, so, like, that is, like, I know that. Mm -hmm. But um, there's several people that have said it now, and I'm going to say it because you feel good enough to, you know, open enough to talk about us. And that's cool, Al. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Um there are several people that have said, and I'm going to add to it, you've suddenly decided that you are something and mm. that you can you can behave a certain way. We've all been there. I've been there. Yeah. I might even still be there. But I tell you what. Mm -hmm. No one's too no big one's, for their britches. Mm -mm. I, I mean, like, like I said. We're all in the muck together. <laughs> right. Putting a bunch of people in your chat to review and talk about other people is whatever. It's what they have. People... Put some people and on other channels actually get family members of folks and put them on ch on that channel, all for the fact of getting numbers. And we we got our numbers. We got our numbers the other night. We showed y'all. <laughs> but um, and I'm not saying that Moonbear is guilty of this part, but Owl is certainly guilty of 
um, being really offended when all of a sudden they become the drama, when she becomes the drama. Trust me, she's got a lot of drama that can be talked about. We just choose not to because she's got really thin skin. But you know what? You know? This is absolutely true, and it's funny. So, so MFW was supposed to go on her stream and do mm -hmm. an interview. Apparently, mm -hmm. to talk, Katie was under the impression, and Katie's open about it, they would just talk shit about me. She said that tonight. That's mm -hmm. flat out said that. Yeah. And so, but before she they went live, she saw the thumbnail. And apparently it was a bunch of Katie's old pictures, like some really mm -hmm. bad pictures. Mm -hmm. But then Al put herself in like this fairy costume mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and and so Katie was like, up yours. I'm not going to, I see the writing on the wall with that one. And so she didn't, she didn't go on or whatever. And then today she was talking about it. I, I, I even put a little small clip on Twitter of something that she said because that shit was funny. Yeah. That was funny. I should play it. Um, no, so anyway, you can that, see it on I my mean, Twitter. We, we, there's a lot of stuff that go on, you know, it, it uh, really, Katie is, like we said, we've mentioned it before, she's dying, but she's got, in between, in her rants that she's doing, she did one today, she's pretty funny. She's pretty funny with her takes on all the other stuff um, she's very sloppy now, so she talks about all kinds of things that, and all kinds of opinions and all kinds of stuff that she thinks she's doing behind the scenes, but really she's just given up her communication with other people. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I can handle it until about five drinks in and then I gotta, I gotta, um. Five drinks? <laughs> when she dips, yeah. when she's, when she starts yeah. missing the straw, then I need to, like. She, um. I'm, I'm really not trying to change the subject, but this is the nastiest thing I've ever had. The Mucinex? It's a Mucinex um, sore throat drop. Honey, it's, ugh, it's awful. Matter of fact, I'm going to spit it out real quick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she can be very funny. She was trolling today. Mandy has a, a, a sound bite that's pretty funny. It was <laughs> it, she's probably going to post it. Um, I did post it. It's yes. My... If you go over, is it on Twitter? It's on my Twitter. Yeah, page. that, that um, I guess that Katie said about me. And and um, Sam and Mandy and, and her. Track record it's uh, in <laughs> my track record with women. Um, good for my ego. You know, again, it's um, not real, he not real. It's just somebody's take on it. But um, do you like them crazy, Sean? Do I like them crazy? Mm -hmm. I guess. No, not really. Not really. I am crazy though. But you're crazy. I'm crazy in love with you. Is what it is. You can be a little crazy. Uh, this water is not. Getting it out of my mouth fast enough. But, you know, you guys that were in here the other night, you saw Katie come in the stream. She was begging for a link. I didn't um, even see her. I just heard So if we really wanted to put numbers in the shit show, we could have given her a link and um, put her on there. But I, we weren't going to do that to Clara. You know, this was for Clara to tell her side oh, of the story. Oh, I wouldn't give Katie a link. No. No, and, and no I'm just saying, if yeah. we really wanted to blow yeah. it, you know, we could have. But that's not, no. Her venom is nasty. And you really can't give... Let Katie sit over there on her channel and, and, and don't don't give her any more segue right now. Um, even when Hussey on there, Hussey's going to her channel. She's not coming to his anymore. He he came he was on there today. That's what I'm saying. He comes oh, to her channel. Well he lost, I think. He lost it or something. He lost his too? Yeah. Good going. Yeah. Sooner or later, Katie will take credit for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Sooner or later she'll go, I told him. But um da -da 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 -da. hey when you I don't know what that means. Why are huh. you making fun of Katie when you have... To, um, Karen said, read her comment while she's in timeout. Why are you making fun of Katie when Mandy's by your side? So I'm going to assume it was like a backwards comment, like saying, why are you making fun of her when Mandy's just like her? Is that what... Am I, mm, I, think, I think it might be the alcohol part of it or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Let me That's tell you. That's the other thing that Mandy and I are good at. If we see something, she'll have like one story or one angle about it. And then, you know, I was like, no, I think it's this. And so we kind of, it's kind of like a two-headed dragon when we when we look Why at this are you stuff. Fun of when you have Mandy by your side. And my name's spelled with an I. It's with an I. Um, the only way, the only one that gets away. Yeah, that's what I thought, Karen. The only one that gets away with putting a Y on it is Savage. Because she's always yeah, done it. Yep, yep. And she's always going to do it. Yep. Um, but, um, yeah. I would, it's making fun of... Just khaki says, when Hussey looks better than Katie, the world is ending. <laughs> it's like drunk and drunker. I'm, I'm, I'm pinning that. 
Yeah, she. There's no love lost between us, but when she gets a good gets a good one in there, I can admit that it's a good one. Used to, you had a point. Used to, even though we all had royal beef with each other, the um, the OG drama people yeah. would come together when it counted. They yeah. would rally mm -hmm. when it counted. Now mm -hmm. they don't, and that leads me. That's when people say the drama. The, um, the drama community has dissolved. That is true. That mm -hmm. part of it makes me think it's yep. dissolved. Because it used to be like if Boyt came after somebody or Troll Avenue came after somebody, the yeah. rest of the channels would, including no, you, you and I, when we got got together, nobody nobody had our back back then. But you know, <laughs> yeah. But um, we used to be like, you know, yeah, she's a bitch, but she's our bitch, yeah. or something like that. That's how. And I that see. that's gone. I mean, it, which is okay because you. We know the people that still have our back, and they're the good ones to have. And yeah. a lot of y'all know who the ones are that will will come into the chat and, and uh, defend Mandy when she's getting dragged and they're this or that. Um, and they're a good one to have. They're this a good group to have. So look at that baby. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll I'll approve, I'll approve you, Texas girl, trying to follow me on Instagram. I will. I'll approve it. Mm -hmm. um, that's the thing. Is like everybody's like, you probably should lock down your Twitter. Someone's getting your screenshots. And it's like, do you, if you look at the ratio of how many people You're I okay. follow to mm -hmm. how many people follow me, I generally will follow everyone mm -hmm. back. And then if they, if it's someone like a creep sends me a DM or, or something like that, then I'll block it or do whatever. But other than that, I'll give you a follow back. That's yeah. how I do it because, and then when people freak out and saying about how it's like, it's the tweets are being, um, who that? Let me see real quick. Okay. We're just looking at. Thank you. You know who we just got. I got it. Thank you so much. I saw it come through here. Um, thank you. You guys rock. And here's the other thing. If, um, you don't want to be seen it. in this chat, you can always pay pal. No one will see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was Jocelyn. I have to say <laughs> she, she, um, the, like I, I, what she had said, she said, I, cause I said, I was going to bring this up, but I didn't want to like, and she goes, no, you can. So what she, one time she had said, because she watched the beast, she'd come and said, why do you talk about the X with the next? And I was like, oh, she said in Paula's chat. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, oh, and I didn't block her in Paula's <laughs> chat, but I blocked her on my account <laughs> and whatever. And she kept then like the next time she's like, can you tell me They everybody was like, tell Mandy. And I was like, no, she's, she can stay blocked or whatever. And then she sent a little PayPal with a note. And it was actually the note was what was heartfelt. It really, really was. And I was like, but but I was so funny that I was like, oh, and I was like, huh, yeah. Now you're speaking a different language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she has turned out to be yeah. like a really cool cat. Um, but she 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 stuck in there. I at first thought she was just a troll. I didn't realize that she was was like had a had a whole like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, I, I'm telling you, if you guys don't think when we're talking about situations like, especially if if it comes to like taking a wrench or doing, you know, stuff like that, um, Mandy's like, huh? or whatever, she gets all bent out of shape about something, or and I'm I'm normally the one to go, take a breath. Yeah. It's probably not that. And <laughs> that's <whatever>. exactly. <laughs> I sent out an SOS to Karen and I was like, Karen, I'm trying to figure out where Jocelyn is blocked at because I looked everywhere. <laughs> you know, the one that's like that is Wax Boss. Wax Boss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it must be a glitch at this point. I've gone through both of my Twitter. I thought I saw her in, because we saw her in StreamYard, but right? But she'll leave a comment and I go to heart the comment mm -hmm. and it'll say error. And I don't see her in anyone's stream when she's talking. So uh, that's what StreamYard is good for too, guys, because they can come through on StreamYard, right? Even if they're Yeah, that was another thing. I noticed that there was a couple of people. There was a couple of people that um I could see on our end on the StreamYard because I it's been a long time since I do. I didn't normally I hide StreamYard and watch YouTube but turn the sound down and I didn't. So I could see StreamYard. And there was a few people who I know for a fact um, are blocked. So nobody probably saw them on YouTube. And I heard a lot of people saying, you know, we're super hypercritical of the mod saying everybody was blocked sight on scene or whatever. Some of you were already blocked. Yeah. And, um, I knew a lot for of a fact got, you were, yeah. cause I could see you. And some people were blocked way back to the rogue mod days. 
Yeah. And we just, because we were kind of like, and we couldn't do anything about it, you know, so. Yeah. That's why you... we say we totally understand how frustrating it is. Mm -hmm. Those of you who deal yeah. with the road mod, mm -hmm. we, um, you mm -hmm. touch us right here. You're gonna but. you're gonna give like lots of content. I I feel like we need to be more interesting. Well, we can. We can be way interesting. Yeah. Well, we covered most of everything. Well, I mean, we're. I'm not saying we're like wrapping it up, but I'm just saying that was the most of the things that that. What? Um. She said that. <laughs> what? Which, speaking of sideways comments, I wanted to ask this. What did that? When when Al said I saw the thing and she said this is scathing. Uh, what did she she's, mean? She's being she was being sarcastic. Like we were scathing, like we sucked at interviewing, or no. that we were being scathing to her to, towards her. Um, no, it, I think she came in and she said, "Oh, this was a DC interview and it became it." Oh, no, we just gave you thirty seconds to, okay. of, of our time. I and, wanted to um, revisit that because I was like, "What we, is that?" We, we just find people that you know. You got to be able to take it if you're giving it. That's if you're true. dishing it out to people and you're being critical of people, um, exactly, they have, Karen. They, it's not, they're going to, you're going to get it back. I mean, she even said it yourself. If you don't want to be a target, don't put crosshairs on you. It's the same. It goes the same. Yeah. If, you know, nobody is above, especially if you have a, if you have a platform and you're reviewing people or you're talking about people, including us. We have a platform and sometimes we talk about, you're going to expect somebody in other streams to publicly say something about you mm -hmm. and you can't have the thin skin about it. No, you know, that's, that's what, all, that's, that's yeah. all really what it is. If, if you have thin skin and you say something to me, I, I'm going to either, I, I weigh it out. You know, like there's some people that in this community that we saw they're super sweet people and they had their channels or whatever. And I'm going to say it, Sunshine Sally came to mind for me. Super sweet girl, you know, and, and, um, but she would sometimes like get involved <laughs> on a, on something that would, Hey Presley would be with a negative review of something and you, and you want to go at them. But I was like, I didn't want, she was very open about her mental, um, state and she would have to take timeouts and stuff. And, and I just couldn't, couldn't. Retort. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. You know, when, you. whenever Christy, whenever she you. said something bad about us or something that wasn't positive, I couldn't go back on her because I understood. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess with thin skin or whatever or somebody. I just I just left it alone. That's an example. She's a sweetheart, whether she likes us or not. I thought she was a sweetheart. I'll keep picking and picking and picking. And again, I knew mm -hmm. from way back from from years ago. She'll cut and run quick. She's got really, really thin skin. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Come to her aid all the time. And um, and they do have her back. And they do have her back, but, but there's just not enough. It, it's not enough um, assuaging her. I think, she really thinks that people need to go gun for people that go for her, and it just doesn't work that way. Christy wants to make sure you got your – she sent it for you too. Thank you, Christy. He buy, he'll buy a baseball card with it. I will. Oh, um. I had somebody that um, last weekend dropped some PayPal and said, do something and do what you want to do with it. I'm going to show them. I'm going to get the card. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to show you one of the things I got. I was like, wait, I, now I remember. Thank you so much, Christy. She's a good person. Sunshine yeah. Sally is a good person. Really good person. Um, so is there a court date on the 6th? If so, what's your opinion? I'm watching because the stripper wars has begun. I'm not, I honestly don't know. I think so. Karen, is it on the 6th that they don't go for that? The thing that it was, it was put in recess until, is it the 6th? I can't remember. Um, let me see. Presley, I, we're here for a great hour going to the media. Very cool. You're, she's going to see um, 80s Brady, Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Sally Fields. Very cool. I love that. Yeah, that's, that's 80 for Brady. That was playing. That yeah, was, she's going to take her, take her, um, do you, oh my gosh, Christy said the, the spy balloon was over her house today. It was wild seeing it. I heard they shot it down. Did they shoot it down today? Um, that is crazy know. though. Okay. So, um, I got this with, they said, go get something for your collection. And, and that's, um, Joe Burrow, you know, he was, the, he's the Cincinnati Bengals quarterback. 
And he's um, got a good sense of humor. He's got a really good sense of humor. And so this is great. This is a rookie card, graded 9.5. Out of ten, from uh, make sure it was over the over the water. They said in case it had a virus. That's what. I, okay, so I had that not even sense. heard about it until we went to my in laws and they were uh, the guests and then we're discussing it. I and had I'm heard like, about it, but I hadn't said nothing to you about it. I'm like, how does something like that get into our airspace? Oh, really, Christy? If you could DM me those pictures, oh my gosh, Presley's husband is a Bengals fan. Oh yeah, so the, um, uh, it's Presley's. Yeah, so this is Joe Burrow. Hey, I I can um. Because I've been really on my butt, Presley. I got to send you that jersey, but I'm sure I need to. Do I it. can I um, find some Bengals cards or something if if you want some. Let me see. It was the what was it called? The spy balloon. I want to see a picture of it. So she's looking for that. The other guy that I like um, personally, um, and I got these. With, this is Trevor Lawrence, and these are three rookie cards that are graded accordingly. Um, that I, make, I got as well. I make fun of him. He loves his hair. You guys know Trevor Lawrence? He played for Clemson and then, yeah. So anyway, that's his cards. I yeah, like them. It's, it's not, is it buffering? Because it's frozen right here. Oh, here. Let me fix that for you, baby. I don't know. I just wanted to see a picture of it. Sean yeah. said that it. they, they have them. Um, that's yeah. what it looked like? That's what it looked like. So imagine that outside up in the air over your house. And you didn't know what it was. Isn't that crazy? Um. Yeah, it's it's crazy because how did it get into our airspace without without being shot down? I think they knew That's about it. That's concerning. I, I think they knew about it. I think they did, and they were tracking it long before they, they let us know about it. And find the one that says go dogs. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> meme one. I yeah, want to see. I, yeah. I heard they were writing stuff on it and posting it like different. <laughs> Sawyer, don't go into the fireplace. Sawyer's like, oh, this is why it's so. These are all That's open. That's Baghdad, Baghdad Bob. Bob. Sell through. Okay, so it should go quicker now. Hold on. Okay. Now let's get back to. <laughs> that's the one you put. Yeah. Hacky asked something. She did. Hold on. He's gonna go. He's just gonna just update his system. It only it used to be Mandy's phone, but now it's an old junky phone. Oh, in the thumbnail, I had to pick a thumbnail. We didn't have that for dinner tonight. It was for dinner a couple of days ago. But I figured y'all get tired of the same old thumbnails. Um. Sean, oh, did see. I tell you Ripken was welcome into the world? Ripken Reed was welcome. That's your grandbaby. <gasps> oh, yay. I remember you were saying um, a couple weeks ago you were with number three waiting on number five. Yay. I remember that. That's yay, really yay. Cool. Justine's son collects football cards. I've I've tried to. He's not. He don't, You don't collect football cards. Mm -hmm. No, you do. But not. that's not your main thing. I like baseball cards, but I have I have look. a lot of Tom Brady. Um, Hold on. I have I have football cards. Let me see. I want to see this. So every so all the people getting getting liquored up and tattooed in Myrtle Beach. Watch that thing get Could shot. Could you imagine down. that? I, I got which tat? It was this one. This one was Myrtle Beach. See, right I, here. that's what I'm saying. That's Myrtle Beach. The one up there. Oh. Sawyer Brown, can you not dig in the couch? You're going to rip it. Oh, wow. Christy. Look, I'm going to show you. There's nothing. Look at it. You see that? She circled it. That is wild. Is that a that's, picture of it? Yeah, that's something. I'm going to get the color back. That's something to tell your grandkids that when that thing went over... I showed it to them already. Wow. That was it right up there. Look at that thing. So I felt like a... Oh, have a good night. I will. I sure will, Presley. You have a good night. Be safe, please. I know it's super cold where you are, too. Um, I, I, when, when they were talking about it, like, I was absolutely like... Normally, I know about at least something. I had no idea what they were talking about. No clue. Oh. And then there's another one in South America. Why is it in South America? Why well, is there one in South America? Just because there was more than one. There was more than one. Sawyer, please stop. You're going to rip the couch. Look at him looking at me like, don't rip the couch. Okay? Sawyer Brown, Sawyer Brown. Okay. Before we... Before we... Okay.
digress to the spy balloon, which was interesting. It was. I want to see the Go Dogs one. That makes me want that steak again. <laughs> like, you know? Yes. No, Jackie, I do not think it was an accident. I think that, I think the accident was that they they lost control of it somehow um, or it came down a little bit lower than they wanted to. They said it was just taking pictures of stuff. Yeah. But not like pictures that everybody's satellite wouldn't take. Yeah. It, it, it's something to it. There was something to it that, I listened to a Pentagon brief about how. They knew. It, they were, they were taking precautions like you're saying. They didn't want to destroy it. They didn't want to detonate something that was going to, you know, because yeah. they weren't sure what was in it. Or they had it over, like, we made some sort of deal with them that if we could put one over their space, they could put one over our space, and nobody was supposed to see it. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody was supposed to see it. I know. That's, I mean, I'm wondering if that's not... The One of the things that you got to gotta think baby. about is a diversion. <laughs> You know, um, you know, the conspiracy theorists say things like um, when something bad happens, like a school shooting or some kind of act and, you know, the, the media and the government starts to focus on that to, to be careful because there's something else going on that nobody's watching at the time. So there's people oh, that are already okay. saying they're doing this and floating balloons and got everybody making, you know, taking up their time in the press and social media and this and that. Something else is happening. I saw a that video. Not... Here's, I don't think it was spy shit is my... Yeah, I agree. Um, let's see. That's um, I saw a video where back in 2016, it showed NASA having huge balloons with satellites attached back then. I think they knew in blaming China to strap... Well, hey, that is... Yeah, but why would we need to blame China for a, a balloon like that if it was ours? We would just say, hey, we... We screwed up and one of our balloons is up there. You know, um, How I think China is saying it's our balloons. They're oh, saying it they? is. Yeah. No, um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't understand. My understanding, this is concerning. The reason I think they must have known is nothing can get into our fly space. Not, Anything, not nothing that big. Like yeah. that's pretty big. I think it was up way high everything. in the atmosphere. And um, it wasn't supposed to be and, seen. And it, and it came down. Lower than they thought it was going to come down. Yeah. Wow. That's what I think. So. And they, when we didn't know that it had been shot down or it hadn't been when we were having the discussion. And I thought they said the debris would hurt somebody. Well, even if it's three football fields or three, three school, school buses. buses big. I mean. It's three school buses worth of debris. Yeah. No. Yes. They, they had to wait. They had to wait. They know. They, they'll weigh ah, it out. If look it what something. she said. <laughs> Dad ho. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell her I said, no. oh, no, no, no. That's right. I the boss. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, that was, like, that was, like, one of the more interesting topics, but I felt absolutely. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her a hard time, though. Dumb. It's my, my, my boss. Um, I, have, boss I have a couple at, of bosses. At and, the and Quickie I'm like, Mart. I'm going to be like, why, why are you texting me at? 9 40 at night mm -hmm. say <laughs> so i will be there to open the slurpee yeah, machine in the morning I, I will she's waiting for me to go okay and i'll just watch watch what i'll do be like say what i'll be like look look here do any of you that's another thing that that um that katie said she was like and i know i know the real reason john lost his job yeah, right. she, she was really in rare form tonight someone so. was trolling her saying that she and um she and whatchamacallit were in on everything together and it was a big conspiracy or whatever. She rolls with it. Um when she's coherent enough, she she comes up with some quick some quick witted things. So they talk about she Yeah, and I think that the American people deserve an explanation as to how it got there. Um have a good night, Colleen. She was. Um how I would like an explanation of how it got to where it got without like they either need to admit that they knew it was there or give some sort of explanation because that's disheartening to me that something gets into our but you know what I, I know it's all like a no fly space but there, right? but there's there's so many stuff that um 
is going on that we, that they don't tell the public. There are all kinds of things that like the CIA and the State Department and the FBI. Well, yeah, and all but these. that's not not that's not bullshit flying in our. But but what I mean is is that it, that is concerning that you see it, but there's other stuff going yeah. on that we don't I have know. I heard that too. That, that you know, there's drones and stuff. They you know you, you look at the numbers. They say for like every mass casualty, like a shooting yes. and this and that. There's 20 that they stop or something something crazy like that that we never hear about i think that you're right um christine said i'm scared of what it could have released that was my my fear was whether or not you believe in the conspiracy theories of covid or what have you um and that it was released from a lab that's kind of that's yeah. concerning that it could have been full of something that right Right. Mm -hmm. um, that, that, but they that, must that have known it true. didn't have that. Yep. They must have already had been. I don't know. I mean, and then I, I hear what she's saying. You know, it could have been. I mean, how much stuff are we projecting on other people, too? That we well, don't I had about? this image of a C-130 that opens its mouth. And so yeah. they, they, and it probably, there's something similar. And it opens its mouth and then it could have, like, eaten the balloon. Yeah. Right? That's something you see on, like, Adult Swim. But you know what I mean? How do you know what a C-130 is? Because you saw I told you what it was yesterday, right? No, um, someone, um, my ex-husband's brother used oh. to load them. He was a load master. Well, so remember but when, yeah. That's ahead. the reason. And if you take hops back from Europe and and you're on like sometimes that you're sitting in a cargo net on a C-130. And normally it's a C-5 Galaxy. Oh, it's is a bigger it? one, yeah. Um, but we were watching the what was the name of that thing? We were watching a movie, the previews, um, yesterday. No, oh, you're right. That's you told me. I didn't know what that was before. Um, so we were. It was a. It's a, a movie about. I, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's an army movie. It's a military movie, and that we're not going to see because I would cry. Yeah, from... she she doesn't do well with those, and it showed a C-130 Spectre gunship, which is a C-130 plane, but it's a um, it's got guns on it. Yes, and they, they shoot. 30 millimeter, you know, bullets from 30,000 feet straight onto a, t you know, I mean, like straight through this window if they wow. wanted to from there, from, from 30,000 feet. It is, it's, um, a bad, bad thing. Um, I've seen them in Iraq. We would have them on station and we, you know, we would talk to them and then they would shoot and we would watch. We have to observe it and it just, you don't even he hear the bullets coming. I was going to say. You don't even hear it. That's the creepy so. thing about like with snipers is you can be standing there talking to somebody and all of a sudden they just drop. You know what I mean? You yeah. never hear it. No. Um, it was, so C-130, when you hear it, like or, or a gunship that's up there, it just sounds Hi, like, a, it's, it sounds like a regular plane. So when you're out like working in the yard or whatever, you hear airplanes. You don't think anything of it. You know, right. because it's an airplane and you look up and it's just a normal sound. And then somebody like me that has tinnitus, uh, I don't even hear that. But they were so um, terrifying to the insurgents because... They knew? Yeah, it, it would. there's not a whole lot of commercial air lines that are in Iraqi airspace that cross oh, over. Really? Or there wasn't then. I mean, it was... You just didn't do it. It just wasn't something. It's not like here where you got like seven, seven or eight hundred planes that fly over your house every day. Yeah. So um, they would just be, you know, doing whatever they were doing, and it could be a plane like in the middle of the day, and it was they would run because they. Oh, I. They see. didn't know if it, if you know. That makes sense. It, 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 that makes total sense. I didn't know. Yep. It was pretty. Um, it was good to have them on our side. Put it that way. It was. Yeah, it was pretty intimidating. And, and the the purpose of the movie was looked like a good one. It was where um, he was a special forces or a ranger, and he he had an interpreter that saved him. This is all in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Saved him, and then so he comes back to the states, and then he, the, they're targeting the, his his interpreter that saved his life goes missing. Yeah, and um, he's abducted by <laughs> Al Qaeda or something like that. So he tries to you know, encourage, you know, the government to, to, to get him. this guy, but it goes against the, um, you know, rules of engagement to, you know, exert force or search and rescue on something that's so not. So he went Rambo. Style. He went, he did it himself. So he, he went all, yeah, he went Rambo. He went but all John I Wick or Jack Reacher yeah. on it. 
and he went over there himself to get to save this guy's life. I would like to watch it, um, but I don't want to watch it with Mandy if it's going to bother her. Yeah, I don't watch movies like that. Mm. I didn't watch Black Hawk Down, anything like that. Saving Private Ryan. I don't watch see. movies about Vietnam. Saving um, Private Ryan. Saving I, Private I, I Ryan can. was an amazing movie. I did see Saving movie. Private Ryan. And it, was it hard to watch? Um, yeah, but not. There's something about like, like in Platoon and Apocalypse Now and stuff. They have a bunch of firefights where Americans die. Correct in sure. the movie. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. I can't see that. And in Saving Private Ryan, it was Normandy, so it was historical and it was still very, very sad. Mm -hmm. But it was different. Well, that's than... just the, the the beginning. I mean, they storm the beach and then they go on this mission to go <laughs> go deep into the enemy lines to to find Private Ryan, though. Oh. Then it becomes. You don't remember? We're gonna watch it. But you wouldn't watch Black Hawk Down, huh? <coughs> Stitching. Um, that was Somalia, Black Hawk Down was. Yeah. The, the, um, all of these people that we watch are probably predict. We've been talking about this spy balloon for a while, and everybody's like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, see? Not only is my enchilada sauce gone, there's a spy balloon. Yeah. They must or, they, or they have you looking at the spy balloon, and while you're fixating on it, they take your enchilada sauce. Yeah. That's what it's for. He wanted that great value enchilada sauce. He did not want... No, he wanted Rosarita. It's someone... It's it's a long story. We um, talked about it, but <laughs> then we take shit for it. Like, we're making fun of people, and we're not. The um, part of the movie we saw last night, without giving a lot of it away, um, once some of y'all have seen it, if you still go to the movies, we can talk about it. But <laughs> the part of the stuff that was going on um, led us to believe that the movie might have been written after covid but this movie, it was a, based on a book. It occurred before COVID. It was written in 2018. Yeah, so it's eerie because then COVID happened. And it, it's, anyway, Oh. maybe that'll interest you, you a little bit. That's another little tidbit. I didn't even, okay, so um, before we go, one of the things that Katie was lamenting about tonight was that this phone number she no longer has um, from like this time period, she needs it in order to accept her punishment to get back on Twitter. And she can't remember the number and nobody has it. So my <laughs> contacts. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about your luck. With those last two digits, it's in my, I got it. Uh, Sorry about your luck, KD. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, I went in and I was like, whoop, there it is. <laughs> I got it. Always relevant, Mandy. <laughs> Anyway, we are gonna we us. are gonna sign off. Slurpee time comes early. Slurpee time does. You have to clean the Slurpee machine tomorrow. Yeah, I have to clean the Slurpee machine and do the roller grill. Oh yeah, he's got to yeah. scrape the mold out. I got to scrape the mold off the and then clean the Amazon boxes and the Red Box movie. Right. That we got these egg cartons came from Amazon. I hadn't gotten anything to an Amazon locker in a long time. It was insane how hilarious. I mean. You say, yeah, I'm here, and it notices you're there, and it opens your locker. You're, you've got a locker, like 30 different lockers. It's, Yours just opens. It's crazy. I'm sure y'all yeah. all knew that. I, 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 And then after it knows you've opened it, then you close it, and it says, enjoy your product on your phone, and you're like, uh. Mandy's pretty bougie, though. She didn't even know what she ordered. Yeah, well, she I goes, knew it, and I sent it to the total wrong place. Thank you, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wild check. You like, yeah, Jocelyn says good night. Make sure the wild cherry flavor isn't watered down. Yes, um, and it has extra I told hydration. Josh, she's witty. Karen Whitney. Um, and, it, it, and this is, but on a, a semi serious note, if you've got to get up at 3 30, which is about when I have to get up, and your boss is texting you at nearly 10, you'd be like, what are you texting me for about? Shouldn't, shouldn't you be thinking I'm asleep? I should be asleep. Shouldn't you be mad if I answered? She said, anyway. no, no, I know you're online. Yeah. I know. I she see goes, you. I'm I, watching I, you. I watch your live stream. But does anyway. She, I, does she? <laughs> I don't She know. wouldn't think it was. She'd be like, you weird. They're pretty clear that that though I spend so much time at my job, like way too much time at my job, that I try to make not make it my life. Yeah. So, you know, when I walk out of there, I'm like, what do you guys need for me? What, what do I need for tomorrow? <laughs> I do not like when they text me like they just did here. It, I, don't, I don't like it. Jocelyn says so. that her Boston's email is like 3 a.m. And she's like, bro, go to sleep. Yeah. Right? It's, well, if he's, if he's texting you, if he's emailing you at 3 a.m., I don't know. That's a whole thing. That's a whole different thing. That's but anyway. a whole thing. 
But you ready to go to bed? Let's go to bed. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Hey, Jenny, I'm sorry. We were just, we're just hopefully you, caught the, you can catch the replay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Again, thank you for being here. I mean, the that, you know, like 50 of you like to listen to us talk about chickens oh. and whatever random stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, and we don't take it for granted. Yep. So thank, thank you, you for the, the mods. Thank you for the PayPal that came in tonight. And the mods, y'all's work. Guys, I know it's hard. I rock in it. And like, yeah. he knows we're sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, does. he goes, he says, so we're going to say good night. And he you know, knows. Sawyer says, thank God. He starts walking. He towards knows the bed. about to say good night. Anyway, are we going night? Have we a good are? night, you guys. Um, See depending you guys. how, we usually don't do it on Sunday because you get up so early, but we'll, we, we'll try. But if not, we will see you Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>